Hi guys, I'm Dr. Mike Cockrell. I want to thank you again for joining me here in this video series. Um, today we're going to be talking about something that actually was brought to my attention yesterday from another uh, source that I was studying and reading. And really just, it was one of those things that sort of said, ah, I talked about this some in the past, uh, but this sort of summed it all up in a way that I've never actually summed it up, so I wanted to share that with you this morning, because what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about vision, purpose, and goals, and not really the details of those three things, but how they interact in your mind, how they interact in your life, and how you might want to think about using those things um, as you move forward through your day-to-day -day activity. You know, the whole point of the video series that I'm doing with you today and as I've been doing over the last couple of years is to really just sort of share ideas. You know, life is a learning experience. And so anytime you get sort of stuck in a rut, uh, my personal opinion is that's not healthy, that's not good. And unfortunately, what we see as we'll get into this discussion is many of us really are operating day to day, even into our 30s and 40s and 50s and beyond, on programs that were sort of plugged into our head when we were two and three and four years old, and we've never been able to get past all those old concepts. Problem is, those ideas were planted by other people that were influencing, influencing us when we were younger. And if we don't change that thought pattern, it's difficult to accomplish the things you want in life. With that being said, let's get on with the, the gist of this. Because what I want to talk about today is the distinction between vision, goals, and purpose. And we're going to start with vision because your vision is what you see your future becoming. And so, you know, if you don't have a vision then what happens to you is you just sort of circle and circle and circle and you do the same things over and over and you wonder in your mind sometimes, I don't understand why I can't get ahead, why I can't get out of this rut, why I can't do this, why this job stinks so bad, why my life is in such dire straits. And the problem is, is because you have no vision of where your life should be or where it could be. So vision is your your dream basically of where you want your life to be so when it comes to vision you need to create one that is huge grandiose magnificent includes everything that you could ever possibly imagine that you want to accomplish in this life and then you need to be clear on it and working toward it every day that being said the second component is purpose I'm a firm believer that each and every one of us end up on this earth and in this life for a reason. Now, if you don't know your purpose, I've done some videos in the past about how to sort of tap into your purpose, but it's very important that you understand your purpose because if your vision isn't grounded in who you really are and where you're headed, you create some of the same process that we just discussed about how you tend to chase your tail over and over and over. And it's hard to reach and create a good solid vision of where you need to be if it's not grounded in your true purpose. So it's really important in my opinion that you actually seek and understand what's your purpose. You know, I personally feel like my purpose in life is educating and teaching and training. I love to learn. I'm a student that's been a habit of mine forever. Um, you know, it's led me through medical school. It's led me through higher education. It's led me through a lot of things, but it leads me every day in the studies that I do on my own now, uh, expanding my mind and looking for ideas and, and ways to continually be growing. And part of my passion and my mission is actually being able to share that information with you guys as well. So I'm a teacher, and that's where I find most of my happiness is dealing with uh, education and teaching and learning. So that, I feel like, is my main true purpose. 
Now, as my vision grows, I try to integrate the things that I know I have as a purpose into the vision. And that's part of why you're seeing this video, because I feel like I have the ability through the internet to share my message, to teach the things that I am seeking to the rest of the world, and we can do it right here from the comfort of my own home, even. Uh, the third thing is goals. Now, oftentimes we all start with setting goals, and everybody's had information presented to them about goal setting and that kind of thing. But goal setting should be the at least the third component of this. Because if you don't have a clear vision of where you want to go, that's not grounded in your purpose of why you are going there, then setting goals is a difficult task. Because the goal setting part is simply the step by step by step daily, weekly, monthly, hourly action plan that you implement to move you toward your vision. So today what I want you to do is very simple. You know, not asking for a lot. Just want you to take a few moments of your time. I want you to really think about what your purpose is. Because once you understand what it is that you truly love to do, what you truly want to be doing, um, if you really understand better why you are here, then it's much easier to create a vision that can be huge. It can encompass the entire world, the entire universe. Create that vision so big and so graphically that no one can ever sway it. And especially if it's built around your purpose, you have a vision so strong it, it just can't be knocked down. And then finally, once you sort of understand what you're here for and understand your purpose, I want you to begin to create the vision, begin to dream, write it down. If you don't do anything else in this life, please start a journal. Keep a daily diary of the thoughts in your head, the ideas that you come up with, the things you experience, because otherwise those things slip past and they get forgotten and they're gone forever. Leave a journal for your family and their families and everybody, generations and generations to come, so that they can see what your thinking was at this moment in time. So that's, that's a little distraction, but finally, what we want to get back to is the goal setting. And so with your goal setting, what you need to do there is once you've got your purpose sort of solidified, you know where you're going, and you know what you want to accomplish, then you need to start developing the the step-by-step -step, um, ideas, things, tools, actions, whatever you need to actually move you toward that end result. And then those things, I would encourage two things. One, write them down so that you have a plan. Number two, I would encourage you to actually keep it simple. You don't need 500 things on a list. You need to think about what am I going to do today? What top three things even? What three things can I do today that will actually move me forward toward achieving my vision and keeping me in line with my purpose? You can build on that as time goes on, but the key is we're like, we're, we're like babies learning to crawl sometimes when we start this process. And, you know, the baby just don't come out of the womb, spend a few weeks at home getting tanked up on juice, and then jump up and start running around the house. It takes them a progression of time, and it's a building process. First, they have to learn to build enough strength to, to roll over. Then they have to learn enough strength to sit up. And then they have to learn enough strength to actually get on their hands and knees. And then they have to build enough strength to actually stand up on their feet and legs. And so that's a building process. And your goal setting is going to do the same thing. As you set small goals day in and day out, you will begin to create even larger goals that can take you into the next month and the next year and the next decade. And those things are great and fine. But today, I want you to start with three small things that you can do consistently that will move you toward your vision 
that you have structured around your purpose. So, listen, I hope this information is helpful. As things come to mind, I love sharing them. You're going to hear a lot more from me over time. And if you like this information, I would love to hear from you. Please comment. Please share it. Uh, you know, shoot me an email message. Uh, just love to hear from you, hear your thoughts, and, and know that it's actually making a difference. Until then, you have a great day. Bye, guys.